I'm Dr. Peter German. I'm a minimally invasive and endoscopic spine surgeon at Texas Beck Institute. There are applications for endoscopic spine surgery really throughout the spine. So from top to bottom, cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. The most common uses are, are typically lumbar, um, just because that's where the most common problems are. We have a lot of motion through our low back and a lot of pressure pushing down, and so people tend to get disc herniations and bone spurs, etc. After that is probably cervical, um, and cervical is not uncommon. So, you know, endoscopic decompressions, posterior cervical foraminotomy is an endoscopic procedure that can be done to take pressure off of nerves. And then there are instances where it can be used in thoracic surgery as well. Um, that's less common mostly because thoracic problems, thoracic nerve compression is just a less common problem. But in the right patient, it can be a great way to avoid the problems associated with surgery on the thoracic spine, which usually involves larger incisions, sometimes fusion-based surgeries.